Hello, all you wonderful people. You know, since the year changed, I thought it would be time to change my channel a bit too. You know, since I've grown as a channel, I think I should be more responsible and set a good example for people. So that's why I'm changing my channel a little bit from now on. So from now on, this channel will be fun for the whole family. Yay! That's right, no more cursing or joking about the male genitalia. Cause, well, frankly, that's just childish. So from now on, we'll be concentrating on positive spiritual energy. And from now on, this channel will be known as What Would Jesus Play? So this episode's game was requested by one of my spiritual followers. It's a game about a little boy and his faithful companion who are stuck in another dimension. But with the help of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Hey dude, how's it going? <laughs> Gotta go now. Goodbye. They will find their way into safe haven. Let's take a look. Psst. I know who you are. Hell Satan. What the hell was that? Now Jesus fucking hates my channel. Fucking cocksuckers. Fuck. and all you other sinful bastards watching this. And welcome to first ever useless fan request video. Now, the high honor of first fan request ever goes to... Sometimes Obscure Gamer. Now there's something to put on your resume. Now, I'm not gonna plug his channel here cause he doesn't have a YouTube channel as far as I know. But keep that in mind when you send your request if you have a YouTube channel. Free shout out! Now, sometimes Obscure Gamer is a huge supporter of my channel and still the only one who has ever left a comment on my totally crappy Bud Spencer and Terence Hill Slaps and Beans review. <laughs> yes, I am weird. Now his choice of a game was Rad Rogers, which totally fucked up my plan of having a nice Christian channel that praises Jesus and spreads love. Well, because of this game, Jesus probably hates me now, so... Thanks a lot, man. But let's move on with this video and take a look at Rat Rogers with my new best friend. <laughs> Rat Rogers. So story-wise this game is not gonna blow your mind. Kid plays too much games but his stupid mother orders him to quit. But then the TV sucks the kid inside it and you end up in this jungle world. Where you have to save an old tree. Oh. And you also have a friend called Dusty, who's actually the game console he was playing at. Hey, whoa, 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 what, what the fuck, what the fuck, whoa, whoa, what the, what, where, where, where the, what the fuck, whoa, what the fuck is this? Hey, this looks... Huh. This looks kind of familiar. What the hell? Did I did I just get fucking sucked into a video game? What the hell? Oh, that's just fucking fucking awesome. I'm mean, fuck. Thank God I was playing Beer Drinker Three Thousand. Oh, fuck yeah. Best day ever. So yeah, the game is a platformer made in the spirit of old games like Commander Keen and Jazz Jack Rabbit, which are all PC platformers. But it adds a lot more swearing in the mix and sort of breaking the fourth wall cause the characters know they are in a video game, which is pretty cool and makes the game feel like a parody of itself and a lot of other games. Wakey wakey sunshine! Hey, kid, I said wakey-wakey. It ain't polite to sleep during a cutscene. Hey, just wait one goddamn minute. If I'm in a video game, 
Doesn't that mean I can do stuff like uh, jump really high or shoot someone without consequences? <laughs> hey you! Psst. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Alrighty, what can I do for you mate? Um, what time oh. is it? Well, seems I don't have me watch right now, so... It's oh. diabla! Oh, 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 oh. Ah, <laughs> oh. that was a really crappy one-liner, though. Damn, should have done something. Oh my what God! The hell? What? Why did you do Jesus that? Jesus Christ! <sighs> oh, oh, someone oh, oh. call help! It no, hurts don't, so don't, much. don't call help! Don't call help! Oh my Fuck. God! <sighs> <sighs> Damn, I hate bullet sponge enemies. Fuck. Oh god, I think one of the bullets stuck behind my Come eyeball. On, still. I can only just, see black Just and die! Black. Fuck. You're dead. Call oh. my mom, oh my Seriously? God. Seriously? Her, her baby got raped by. Bullets. What the hell? It's oh, a video game, sir. It hurts so much. No. What the hell? Oh, 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 oh hey, an extra you're life. Bad. I'm Fuck. still hurting here. <clears throat> so, like I said, and you can probably see for yourself, the game is a platformer and a run and gun. The jumping and moving is good, and the shooting even better. You can shoot pretty much 360 degrees all around you, and you have your basic weapon, but you also get other weapons too. You know, like rapid fire, or grenade launcher, or rockets, or well, these weird birds that work pretty much like rockets, but I call them rockets, because who the hell would shoot birds? Well, bird rockets, whatever. Rocket birds. And you get this big ass laser also. You also get this bat sometimes, which only lasts for a short amount of time. And your robot or console friend can also hit opponents, so, you know, he's not totally pointless either. You're quite the killer, ain't you, kid? Shit. That shooting was a shitty idea. Fuck, I mean, what, what else can I try and that's, you know, better in video games than it is in real life? Uh... I got it, I got it. Uh, jumping! Jumping always works better in video games. You can always jump like fucking 10 feet higher than you can in real life, so... Here I come. I'm gonna get high now. W without drugs. <coughs> okay. Well, um, that was a little grim joke, but whatever. Back to the game. The game is pretty short. Eight levels and last boss, plus couple bonus levels. The game was a Kickstarter and it only got around $80,000, so, you know, it's understandable. Kinda makes me wish it had gotten more, cause it is a fun game. You know, lots of different possibilities with its humor and all. Uh, but there are negative things too. Well, like I said, it's pretty short. Only around 3 or 4 hours, but it should be cheap by now too, so that's not so bad thing and understandable with the budget they had. 
Also, sometimes it is a little obscure where you can jump and there are leaves and shit in front of the screen. That kind of bothers sometimes and... It also feels, when you get through the game, like it was supposed to be a lot longer, but... Yeah, like I said, budget shit, so... Hmm, what are you gonna do? Nothing major, but little annoyances like that, you know, here and there. Not bad. So that was Rad Rogers in a nutshell. It's a fun game with few minor flaws and as it is, I give it seven and a half. Now if they ironed out those little flaws, it could have been an easy eight and maybe throw in some length, it could have even been a nine, but they had a tight budget, so I get it. But seven and a half is not a bad number. It's better than seven. So yeah. If you're looking for a platformer run and gun, I totally recommend this one. So, sometimes obscure gamer, uh, thanks for recommending this, I definitely had fun with this game. If any of you have any recommendations there, you can leave them down here in the comments, that's probably the best place. I also have Twitter, you can draw your recommendations there too, but uh, probably the comments is the best place. Now I'm on Discord and Facebook too, but I don't have my own you know, channels or pages there, so... Uh, could be a little hard to recommend there, but, you know, if you find me there, sure, why not? Hell, you can even send me mail through, you know, post offices. I don't care, but that would be a little weird, though, you know. Pfft, who the fuck sends mail these days, except email? I wasn't supposed to do a whole review out of these recommendations. Uh, more like, you know, some uh, first impressions or something like that, and maybe some Let's Play material, you know... Uh, put together, you know, see what comes out of that, but, uh, well, I got a little carried away because this game was, well, so damn fun, and uh, it had great potential for awesome penis jokes, so, which I, by the way, didn't do any. What the hell, man? Where are my penis jokes? Penis? No, <laughs> that's not a penis, that's a banana. Almost forgot, the list of consoles that you can recommend games for is here. These are the current consoles I can capture footage from. Uh, PlayStation 2 and we have question marks because I have the HDMI converters for them, but I haven't still tried those out, so who knows if they'll work. If they don't work, I'm gonna buy different converters and see if that helps, but you know, who knows. And when I make my future fan request episodes, I'm gonna be adding consoles to this list as I buy more converters. You know, I'm still missing here like Saturn and Dreamcast and PlayStation 1 and 3 and you know, shit like that, so, uh, little by little. And remember, when you're recommending games, if you're gonna ask some huge-ass RPG game that's gonna take like 500 hours, well, it's gonna take 500 hours. It's gonna take fucking long. So, you know, I have to say, I more appreciate, you know, smaller games, you know, like 30 hours maybe, or maybe even less, but, you know, I can do longer too, but it takes more time, you know. Penis. No, that's not a penis, that's a shoe. But this was this episode and you know this shit, you know. Click like, click subscribe, click the bell, click the comments, click yourselves the fuck out of here and click yourselves back when I upload more crap. But for now it's... Goodbye. <laughs> penis? No, that's not a penis, that's my village people record. But if you want to see more penises... Penis? Yes, penis. Then click my other videos. Go on, click them. Click away. Why are you still here? Click, click. Click the videos. Damn it, click. Click. Penis?